My first knowledge by Grant Wood was when I was in college. I just really liked what I saw in his paintings, always have. His American Gothic is by some accounts the second most recognized painting in the world, second only to the Mona Lisa. In 1935, when he came to the university on the faculty, uh, he was the most famous artist in America. So there, there's a, there was something really to work with to make a great legacy. I'm not, uh, I'm not a creative artist. I, I, I don't paint, I don't make uh, lithographs or anything like that, but I do enjoy art. And uh, I, I very much enjoy uh, Wood's art. Um, the, in, the intense kind of knowledge of Grant Wood uh, came slowly after I had bought the house. He was such a diverse artist. He was um, not only painting and printmaking, but also um, wood, and he sculpted stone, metal works. He, he made uh, furniture, and he made uh, jewelry. Um, and in this house, uh, he hammered copper and he uh, sculpted stone. He did all kinds of things. And so there, there's a great body of work that he has. Because a lot of people, they'll say, I'll say Grant Wood, living Grant Wood's house. Who's Grant Wood? You know, the pitchfork and the lady. Oh, yeah. But so who painted it? I don't know. <laughs> well, we're going to try to fix that. And, and that is building his legacy. I believe that the, the fellowship program where we bring in a fellow in each of those areas for a year, um, I think the key part of the program, which makes it so valuable in the state and nationally, is that each fellow is appointed to the faculty here at the University of Iowa. And that's very key for them, and it's very key for us. It has really worked wonderfully. And they, the university is really happy with what we've done so far, what the fellows have done, what they've contributed to the university, what the university has contributed to them. And we're really, we, we find that our program, our fellowship program is a format for other programs at the university that have really been happy with, with what we've done. I said earlier, that the university went 60, 70 years without ever mentioning Grant Wood's name. Um, and that was, that was not right. And so then after um, I started the, the uh, fellowship program and the um, Grant Wood Art Colony, the, the university has been wonderful. And they have supported this wholeheartedly. Well, I, I am positive about the future. And um, I think hopeful, but as we all know, hope is not a strategy. <laughs> so we have, we have a plan with uh, the colony and the program uh, to keep extending his uh, legacy. As my, my whole goal in this has been to make it right for Grant Wood. He wasn't treated right. And that's, that's everything I want to do with this, is to make it right for him. So it's very rewarding for me to, to see this come to action and to see this, Grant, we call it the Grant Wood Revival. I mean, it really is a renaissance. It really is a revival of him. It started with an idea, a simple artisan who saw the world differently than others of his time. It started by observing, because everyone has the ability to see, but some see with clarity and purpose, 
as well as with green grass and blue skies and fields ripe with opportunity and prosperity. It started by listening to nature, to instinct, because everyone has a voice and his was transformative for his time and as it turns out, for ours too. Resilience is a never-ending quest for truth and grace and for staying true to the mission of not going back. Not going back, but rather filling the once blank pages with truth, with honor, and with thanksgiving. Resilience is letting the light shine on that long ago revolution so that others can walk and be free. Everyone has a dream for their future, as did he, as do we. What would our world look like if we had embraced him in his own time? What would our world look like if we honored him for being a revolutionary instead of erasing him from the ledgers of time? Resilience is the spirit that rises and refuses to sleep even when the world lays burdens on strong shoulders. Resilience sparks an inner fire from shattered dreams to hopeful dreams. As we move forward, what if we can equip others to know the truth? What if we can provide a space for innovation and introspection that pays homage to his history and impact? What if we can change the record and change the world?